All right. Hello, for those of you who are new here, my name is Ethan. Make sure to check out my website, ethanren.com. For now, you can find links to all my various socials. We are currently live on Twitch, YouTube, and the front page of my website. If you'd like to get notified when we go live next, make sure to follow or subscribe, and you'll get that notification. And you can be here asking questions, and I can may maybe cover some symbols that you might be interested in learning more about. What are we going to be looking at? We're going to be looking at what is doji candlesticks, doji candlestick pattern, doji candlestick strategy and analysis explained, uploaded by Simply Info. Today, today let us try to understand about doji candlestick, types of doji candlestick patterns, what are the benefits and limitations of doji candlestick through this video. According to Jack Dorsey, co-founder of Twitter, Make every detail perfect and limit the number of details to perfect. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. What is Doji Candlestick? Doji Candlestick A Doji Candlestick chart pattern is a formation that occurs when a market's open price and close price are almost exactly the same. It looks like a cross as the opening price and closing price are equal or almost the same. It has got its name from its unique formation which denotes indecision. It generally signals a reversal pattern for technical analysts. Since a doji is formed during uptrend or downtrend, it is considered a possible indication of a trend reversal. Even though prices may have moved between the open and the close of the candle, the fact that the open and the close takes place at almost the same price as what indicates that the market has not been able to decide which way to take the market or currency pair, that is to the upside or the downside. But first, let us understand what the candlestick patterns are. Candlestick charts are a unique form of trading indicators invented in 17th century in Japan by rice traders. These are a type of price chart used in technical analysis that displays the high, low, open and closing prices of a security for a specific period. They used these patterns to anticipate price movements to trade. The word doji is of Japanese origin which means blunder or mistake which refers to the rarity of having the open and close price almost exactly the same. The vertical line of the doji pattern is called the wick and the horizontal line is called the body. The wick can vary in length as the top represents the highest price and the bottom represents the low. The body represents the difference between the opening and the closing price. This can vary in height but not in width. Let's look into the types of doji candlestick patterns. See, there are five types of doji candlestick patterns. Number one, standard doji pattern or star doji. A standard doji candlestick has two short wicks that are of a similar length both up and down. It means when the candle has opened and closed at the same level and has moved in a very small range in between, it indicates extreme indecision in the market and a lack of commitment from traders. If other indicators suggest that prices are... We do also have a video on my channel covering the basics of candlesticks. Um, I highly recommend watching that video as well. It covers a lot of this information as well. Overbought or oversold, it can mean a price reversal is imminent. Number 2. Long-legged doji. The long-legged doji has long upper and lower wicks and appears when the price has moved up and down drastically before the candle closed at the same level as it opened. Depending on the trend direction of the market action leading up to the long-legged doji, it will be a bullish or bearish reverse pattern. A long leg doji after a bullish move is considered a bearish reversal pattern. Conversely, a long legged doji after a bearish move is considered a bullish reversal pattern. Number 3. Gravestone doji. The gravestone doji has Pay attention to this one. This one is representative of a price opening represented by this horizontal line here. Attempting to push up higher unsuccessfully but where it then proceeds to come all the way back down and close at the exact same price where it opened so 
Now you can't, you should definitely always be using a lot of different technical indicators in conjunction with each other as they will kind of lend weight into each other and kind of help paint a bigger picture. You shouldn't just be relying on one indicator such as a doji, but if you were looking at like a price channel and the price came all the way up to the resistance and you're expecting it to reverse sometime soon and then all of a sudden you see a gravestone doji right as it's at resistance, this could potentially indicate a trend reversal from rising back into falling. That's a long upper wick and therefore when candles open and close occur at the low end of its trading range. It indicates that a current uptrend may be coming to an end with the price about to be reversed downward. Number 4. Dragonfly Doji Contrary to what we just said, it, it operates the same. What a dragonfly doji represents is the price opening, representing by this horizontal line, an attempt to push lower by a stock, but unsuccessfully, where it then proceeds to rise all the way back up and close very similar or very close to its opening price. Now, again, you should always be using a variety of different indicators, but let's say you have an uptrending price channel and the stock had been bearish for a few months and it finally touches support, and then all of a sudden you see a dragonfly doji this could add credibility to a potential trend reversal from bearish back into a bullish state. Dragonfly Doji has a long lower wick and appears when a candle's open and close occur at the high end of its trading range. It usually appears at the peak of an uptrend. It possibly signifies a reversal of the current trend. It indicates that a current downtrend may be coming to an end with the price about to reverse upwards. Number 5. Four price doji. Four price doji is a candlestick where open, high, low, and close are all the same. This candle reflects the highest extent of indecision between bulls and bears. This candle is normally seen on low trading volume. It often appears in pre market and after hours trading. Well, how to understand a doji candle? Each candlestick has four parts. They are an opening and closing and high and low prices of the day. By looking at it, we'll give an idea about the price movement of an asset. The opening and closing prices together create a thick section called body. Higher the difference between the operating and closing prices, longer will be the real body of the candle. On either side, the highest and the lowest prices of the stock create shadows or wickers. Many traders interpret a doji candle as an indication of a trend reversal. So, they choose to pause and reflect for more convincing pattern to appear. For example, if reflect. a doji candlestick appears during an uptrend, it may imply that buying momentum is slowing down. But it can also be momentary indecision and the market may continue to move in the same direction afterwards. So, one must not it's important to recognize what he said. Again, you should be using a variety of different indicators. If you were to see something like this, it could represent a potential reversal, but it's also just as possible that it's just also, it, it could also be momentary indecision. For that specific time period, let's say you're on an hour lead for that one hour, it momentary back and forth but it could very much just continue you need to keep in mind the other forms of technical analysis you're doing such as your price channels um, if this is happening in the middle of that trend or near the top end or the bottom end plan their strategy based only on the single doji pattern it may be wrong now let's look into the benefits of doji candlestick it is quite simple and can be understood without any special knowledge it can be found in any time frame and for any asset. Although the candlestick does not provide accurate trend reversal or continuation signals, it may be an alarm when the market is ready to turn around. Traders use such signals to enter or exit a trade. And what are all the limitations? Well, a doji does not occur frequently and is therefore not reliable or a trustworthy indicator on its own. They are only reliable if there is confirmation from other technical tools. It does not always symbolize an extended trend reversal. The direction of the prominent trend may change. However, the longevity of the new direction cannot be guaranteed. Some traders struggle to differentiate between a doji candlestick and a spinning top.
As candlesticks do not necessarily make a provision for price targets, making use of a doji to produce an informed trade will not guarantee any estimation on the possible gains that can be earned in the trade. The trade must make use of other technical analysis techniques to determine entry and exit points for trades. Doji and Spinning Top There is another indecisive candlestick, a spinning top candlestick. Although the pattern looks similar, there is a tiny difference. The spinning top candle has a bigger body. Both spinning top's shadows are long while that of One thing I want to note about the spinning top, I don't know why he's getting... I guess it kind of makes sense to have information about it in this video. A spinning top... A doji up until this point is informations and patterns correlating to a singular candle whether you're watching the basics video or you're watching this video that's about doji stick candles um, dojis are referring to a singular candle again with zero to no body okay a spinning top on the other hand is referring to a series of multiple candles of dojis right next to each other with an alternating body so you'd have one doji with a green can green body and then another doji with a red body and then another doji with a green body this shows an extended period of time of in indecision and typically let's say let's say you're looking at a 15 minute chart and there's four back to back dojis and one's red one's green one's red one's green that could be interpreted as spinning right but then you then change from the 15 minute to the hourly and see there's a doji on the hourly, which is often what's happening. Oftentimes when you see a spinning top, you're, you're seeing a doji being painted on a bigger time frame than the one you're looking at. But spinning, spinning tops can also happen on tops and bottoms. So you can come at the bottom of a trend, be at a support level, and then start to see spinning. And this would be an indication of a reversal back into bullish strength and vice versa. Uh, so the main difference is spinning tops would be referring to multiple doji candles. A doji candlestick can have different sized shadows. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. That was, that was a pretty good video. Helped us learn a little bit more about doji patterns. Again, if you're just seeing this one, you might want to go watch the candlestick basic video to learn a little bit more about this topic. And as always, you should never be relying on just one form of technical indicator, one form of technical analysis. You should always be using a, a variety of different indicators in conjunction with each other as they will help build into a bullish or bearish case against a particular asset. Let's move into a different video.